Hey! Benny Fish! The 4th of October, 2018. And I just wanted to uh, share with you a couple things here that I saw this morning that led down a very interesting trail that I just need to show you because, you know, I don't know exactly what this means. But it obviously led me here for some reason and it's it's just bizarre it's one of the more bizarre things i haven't had the time to to sit and dig in and study things um, but this this hit me like it means something but i haven't had time to really put it together for you to make it you know at least relatively you know understandable but you know it started with just seeing a simple article again that seven things to know before the opening bell and it's just a regular article you know talking about business before the bell and the reason that this came into my mind was through a series of other things that include uh, Donald Trump and his primarily his uh, what do you call it his his rally tour okay like the other night, he was in Jeff Johnson City, Tennessee. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm reading the article. This woman says she's never seen so many people in here. And then I get to this. It's very short, obviously, but uh, another thousand people watching. People stood outside and watched on large screens near Liberty Bell. And I'm like, Liberty Bell? So I go to the map, which I don't have my uh, my Google Earth maps right now, so I just have to use this Bing map. And I go to this civic center that he spoke at, Freedom Hall, the Liberty Bell Middle School, Freedom Hall. Now, he was just in Philadelphia earlier in the day. and I, And I need you to notice that it's right next to a baseball field for whatever reason this all comes into play it's very strange but it's real it's it's what was shown to me so he spoke here at Freedom Hall Civic Center near the Liberty Bell Middle School and so I'm thinking he was in Philadelphia right and he's going to uh, where's he going tonight he's going to I'm trying to find see how it hides it on you he was in, he's going here tonight. He's going to the Mayo Civic Center in Minnesota. Okay, this is where he's going to speak tonight. And notice right across the river is a big giant baseball field. Now I know baseball fields are everywhere, but you have to understand that's one of the uh, biggest symbols. Let's just call it a symbol. Uh, from these dark powers and principalities used to mock you. I mean, that's literally what it's for. It's just a big mocking. It's it's quite literally the same thing. And I mean literally. Good old American pastime. So I'm thinking here, I got baseball, I got the Liberty Bell, I got all these various things. And I've been looking at the um, you know, the Rothschild's New World Currency coming up, right? And it brought me back, which it should everyone, to the foundations of this country because this has been going on since the foundation of this country. This country was not set up to be uh, a godly country. It became that way because it attracted godly people. And so the fabric of the country was very godly, very Christian. It was it's the makings of a great country, and it became great, but people started to look at the greatness more of the wealth and the power as opposed to the biblical foundation, which is where the real greatness comes from. Okay, So I know this is just all over the place, but this is the way I got to do it. That, so the Liberty Bell, the founding of the country, and if you just poke around just a tiny bit, you'll find, okay, that the Liberty Bell um, is pretty, pretty well 
documented, right? Let me just see if I can find these things. You got to forgive me. I, I, I'm everywhere. Here we go. Uh, the Liberty Bell was actually uh, made most famous um, on July 8th, not July 4th, like most people think. It, and it's really well documented, actually. Okay, this is just one article that came up. This is uh, Politico from last year, 7717. The Liberty Bell rings out in Philadelphia, July 8th, 1776. Notice it's a copper bell. Uh, and, you know, it goes through all the details of, of who rang it and all these various things. How they ordered the bell and the crack itself. No one really knows how it cracked. But it is thought that it happened at this occasion on July 8th, 1776. Don't forget, you know, that the, the country at that point was already basically set in stone. They had signed everything, agreed everything. What this was, was the public proclamation. This was telling the world, the public, about what they had just done. How they had uh, claimed the independence of the country on July 8th. So, I mean, this is just how it works, you guys. I, I go back to July 8th, 1776. Okay? And I just go to today, and I get 88,477 days, right? And if we look at the remainder of this year, okay, uh, from the 8th of, I'm sorry, from the 8th of uh, July to today is 88 days, okay? And that's the same, you know, July 8th is 88 days. I just thought that was interesting. And if we go to the all the way to the end of the year from this day, it's 88 days okay in the found in the cunt in the uh liberty bell was rung 88,000 days ago 477 to be exact okay now this is just the way it works you guys now i'm i'm seeing all the uh the baseball fields and everything where trump is it, it has been speaking right and it reminds me of the shooting on the baseball field in Washington last year. You remember that? Scalise got uh, pretty critically wounded. I I took this 477. I can't explain this, guys. I really can't. But that, you know, it just struck out to me. I primarily see it as an 1111. I mean, that's how it strikes out to me. It's also a 666 if you add them together. 18666. And so I take that 477. And I just subtract it from today. And where do you think it brings me? Wednesday, June 14th, 2017. You know what that day was? Not only is it was it Trump's birthday, that was a day that the congressman and the guy from Belleville, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, on the baseball field, right? I'm just telling you guys, this is how this stuff comes to me. And, and the guy was from Belleville, Illinois, and he's 66 years old. This is just crazy. So I'm like, what's going on here? And then I go back to the uh, where he's going to be at his rally tonight, which is in Minnesota, right? Rochester, Minnesota, right across from this big old baseball field. And there's a lot of stuff we could get into here, too, but. I take Rochester. It, this is just how it works with me, guys. It, you got to bear with me. I take Rochester and I put it into the Gematria. Don't forget, Trump is 88 as well, right? So we got 88,000 days, 88 days to July 8th, 88 days to the end of the year. July 8th was the day they rang the Liberty Bell, proclaiming liberty in the land, independence from tyranny, right? <laughs> crazy and rochester is where he's speaking tonight rochester in the john six count the english is six 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 and in the simple like trump is 88 we have 111 okay you with me so far 111 if we go back this is crazy guys if we go back 
111 days from today, we wind up on Donald Trump's birthday, June 14th. The same exact place we wound up with the 477 days. Okay, so what does it all mean? Your guess is as good as mine, but to me it's spelling there might be some danger for Donald Trump. Uh, that's just what I'm saying. I'm, this is what comes to me. This is how I, I discern it right now. Like I said, I haven't taken the time to pray on it and really do any deep digging. But this is pretty wild to me, and it's it's striking me in my spirit like something that needs to be shared. Okay? This just tells us that we are that much closer to the coming of the Lord. And if you don't know him, you need to get on that right away. Because the only, only, only way you have any chance of escaping this darkness and eventual death, eternal darkness, is Jesus Christ. Period. End of discussion. Seek him diligently and you will be saved. Okay? I just had to bring this thing out to you because it's crazy. This stuff is wackadoodle crazy. From the from the opening bell, the Liberty Bell, and and just I'm sorry, guys, but most of the time this stuff it kind of rolls off of me. I I just see it so much, you know. But this is pretty pretty wild. That's really all I could say. I'll link as much as I can, and. uh Y'all have a great day. Keep looking up. Stay armored up. Time is near. It's at the door. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 